Hi, this is uh, Wartech again. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate um, how to uh, do a little uh, percussion with uh, hammer stones and uh, with rounded obsidian uh, cobbles. Uh, this rock I, I picked up at the in the Kilgore area of Idaho, and uh, it kind of demonstrates some of the problems that you face when you're trying to get at least a, a, a flake started. And so you see, this is a rounded rock. I also want to point out that I use these gloves. For obsidian, I just think it's required because those fine shards can find their way into your fingers relatively easily. So um, here is a, a, a round river rock. It's quartzite. And then I have some softer stone. It's more like a sandstone. And this is more for, for uh, pulling off finer flakes. But I just want to show to, right now how you can actually uh, essentially slab these rocks uh, if you get a, a, a good uh, striking platform. And so you can see that this area right here is relatively flat. And so if I take my hammer stone and I use it as a punch, this punch can run flakes right through it. And so um, we're going to try it out on this rock. This rock doesn't look all that great. It's got a lot of uh, damage to it, but I can almost see a seam running through here. So we'll see how it goes. But if I hit it right here, it should run a flake right through it. Okay, so hit it about right here, and sometimes you have to hit it a couple times, and you can start flakes. Now, that didn't go too well, but um, that sort of demonstrates what you're aiming for. Also, I have my garbage can here so I don't spread flakes all over the place. nice thing about hammer stones is you can strike it a couple times and really not do too much uh, ancillary damage. Okay, <laughs> that kind of fell apart. but. Um, I suspect that it might happen with this one, so that's why I grabbed another one. Hey, and uh, these rocks are actually uh, pretty plentiful in, in certain places in Idaho. Okay, so we'll try the same thing, except see again. I have a flat, relatively flat surface. If I punch it, it should pull a flake off. So we'll give this a try. And like I said, use it as a punch, and you can run it right through. Okay, so there's a good example right there. Now what I've done is what I consider uh, essentially slabbing a chunk of obsidian. And so now what I have is a relatively large piece here for making a large uh, spear point, for example. And so you can work that out. Now um, the rest of this material, let's see if we can get a couple more off. We'd have to look around, but uh, we might be able to get a decent flake Oh, I don't know, maybe right about here, if we can run that through, might be able to get a decent one. Unfortunately, the concavity of this rock is uh, going to make it a little tricky. But if I hit it about here, again, like a punch, you can get another flake out of it. Um, and so that's a little irregular, but it's not too bad. And uh, we're getting closer to something that would be workable over here now. Um, Put this down. Okay, so for something like this, I would consider this a final, a final piece. But we have all this mass right here, and so for me to do to remove it, you've got to remove quite a bit of mass on this side. But again, you can punch that off, maybe. And like I said, you can hit this a few times with a hammer stone, and it doesn't cause too much damage. Okay, it's getting thin enough now that I can change the way I hold it. I can hold it like this and swing down like that. And you can see, I removed some of this mass here. I flattened it out a little bit. Okay, turn it over here. Try to push the flake this way so that I can get the platform up. Unfortunately, you can see that there's some cracks running through there. Okay. So I've gotten to the point now where I'm pretty close to getting it in a position where I can remove some of this mass here. Um, as you can see right here, there's uh, some white material. That's just uh, water getting into this seam. Maybe if I hit it from here. And so the idea is to see if I can get a decent platform here to remove that mass. Oh. 
removed uh, that flaw. And uh, I think I'm just about there. So now I've got some a bit of a platform here I can remove. Uh, okay, so I've got something about there. And I think if I rough it up a little bit, I should be able to get that out of there. And again, uh, now that it's relatively thin, a swing like this should be sufficient. You want to try to keep your wrist stiff because if you flick it like this with a heavy billet, you start to wear your uh, your wrist out. So you hold like this, use the flat side, and just swing by like that, and hopefully I'll be able to remove most of this mass. Not quite, just a little. Nice thing about being filmed is that you feel the pressure to try to succeed, and it doesn't always quite work. Nope. Well, I gave it a shot. Let's see. Try one more side here. All right, we'll try it from here. All right, well, I kind of got it. Anyway, so that's about it for this. And so what I've got here as a final product is I've got a few of these flakes here. And uh, the way I did it was I used a hammer stone. I punched into the rock. It was round, but you can still run a pretty good flakes right through the material. And for all practical purposes, slab round cobbles of obsidian. Anyway, that's it for my demo today. Thanks.